by now you would think that the elite are watching my videos you're looking at a one minute chart I want you to see the blatant disregard for law and order that happened in the gold market just as I warned you in my video that I made just only a short time ago today I told you that the bandits will be continuing to raid the gold market so that they could buy the physical for cheap it's how the game is being played right now look at this closing bar as you can see all day long they allowed the you know the goal to, to stand still stand down couldn't do anything and then they crashed it into the close and what you're looking at is a parabolic bar here on the, the on the close on the actual closing bell the closing print if you will all right 13 21 30 they crashed it down to 13 12 in a minute that's the most this market has moved all day all right so you basically have a 10 point a ten dollar run a ten dollar run in gold after being still standing still basically levitating in midair they run it down they crash it down to 13 12 but that's not the issue the issue is look at this final print right here all right this print right here says 13 11 8 actually from there it jumps all the way up back to 13 20 10 no look at this air pocket there is no trade there's no point in between it just goes from the 13 1180 to 13 20 10 massive massive preparation there how do you how do you do nothing and then on the closing point you drop from 13 21 to 13 11 and then within, in a split second go from 13 11 next trade 13 20 how do you do that can anyone explain that no you cannot no you cannot no you can't now this is why how it looks on your hourly chart see the spike down crashed it on the close and then brought it right back up <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable look at this price destruction and the, the the last half of the day price destruction here you go right here massive preparation I mean we already know the metals have been manipulated but now they're just doing it right in your face they're just pushing the price around doing whatever they want right in your face here's your GLD do you see anything like that in the GLD? The ETF? No, you don't. Yeah, you do see um, a, a bit of a bit of selling into the close, but it's only uh, it's not even a dollar. It's like twenty cents basically. All right, not not a biggie, not a biggie, not a biggie at all. Nothing to write home about. But you can see the paper market got destroyed. Your ETF and your you know your stocks are fine because this is not reflective necessarily of the gold price per se like the futures market is when you take physical delivery. You see you see where I'm going with this? Pimperation at its best. Your goal gets slapped down right after my video. What did I say in my video before this one I said your silver is gonna be fine but your gold could be smacked down probably about another hundred bucks and then look what happens look at the shenanigans now let me show you something else all right final final hour of closing for the silver you have a rally <laughs> I try to tell you look at this this is a rally all right final hour of trading gold you got a crash. You don't believe me? Look at the one minute chart on the closing bell for the silver. Here you go. Here it is right here. Right here, live and direct. This is your one minute chart showing you what's up. Any questions? I don't think so. Look at this parabolic bar in the opposite direction for the silver. 
running from 1835 to 1841. Look at that. I tried to tell you that that is exactly what was going to happen. I didn't think it would happen right in our face blatantly on the, uh, on the closing bell today, but here you have it. And with all this excitement, I forgot the most important part. Hi, welcome to this edition of the Vulcan Report. This is the end of day report for trading on Wednesday, June the 29th, 2016. And you're looking at a chart of silver. I don't think any more needs to be said, do you? Major rescuing has taken place in the stock market today. With the Dow finishing up 384 points. Dow futures, what a movement we had today. And you did have some buying going into the, uh, the close here. But it's still pretty bullish. That's a lot of power in that market. And one thing should be noted here is that your S&P finished up 45 points. Your NASDAQ futures uh, finished up 98 points. And your Russell finished up 24 points. And your Nikkei is finishing up 65 overall. And really that's not really right because it was really up like, you figure from like 6 I would say 700 to 875, so like 175 points, something like that. But nevertheless, this is what you have here. So as you can see, they switched algos today. They spent the last two days rescuing the dollar. Now that the dollar is where they needed to be, they switched their focus to the equity market. And as you can see, they let the dollar go, selling into the close here with the dollar. And as you can see here, they let the oil fly with strong bids going into the close getting back up to that fifty dollar mark exactly what i told you they were going to do in the prior video what did i say i said this was going to happen they're going to push the oil back to fifty dollars and here you go so once again i told you so once again if you're not trading with the pulse waves what are you doing for your life if you're not making money in these markets you need to stop, fire yourself, and you need to hire me. Come on over to the Black Ops Trading Room and see what real market timing is all about. And with that said, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can, give nothing back.